Hi, welcome to the Heavy Metal Kitchen. I'm here again with Roger. Hi, Roger. How are you doing? Hi, Nina. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm hoping we can get through these real quick. We, I did, um, with Angela, we did uh, Animalize last week. And this week, we're going to be doing Asylum. We're just going to go over Asylum briefly, Crazy Nights, Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits, and Hot in the Shade, which are just albums, they're unlistenable. So, Kiss Asylum, track one, King of the Mountain. Track two, Any Way You Slice It. Three, Who Wants to Be Lonely. Four, Trial by Fire. Five, I'm Alive. Six, Love's a Deadly Weapon. Seven, Tears Are Falling. Eight, Secretly Cruel. Nine, Radar for Love. And 10, Uh All Night. What do you think? Do you well, have, we're going to pick our four favorites. Go ahead. Okay. I, um, I tried to pick four. I could only manage three out of that album. Understandable. I, just, I couldn't. So I picked as my top three. I picked Tears Are Falling, King of the Mountain, and um, I picked King of the Mountain because of Eric Carr. I think Eric Carr is awesome on that song. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, uh, and my third was uh, All Night. Okay. And the uh, rest of the yeah. album is a gall album for me. I'm going to do three as well <laughs> <laughs> because I can't seem to narrow mine down, but I do have a number one. Uh, so, number three. Tears Are Falling, number two, King of the Mountain, and number one, which I really enjoy this song, All, All Night. I think it's a great song. And We uh, have the exact and, same three. <laughs> but I, a little different order, but um, when I was on the Kiss Cruise, um, they had uh, fan participation uh, video. They could do it, their own music video in front of Kiss, and Kiss would judge each group. You know, oh, and it was really yeah. goofy, okay? So yeah. people were doing the goofy 80s stuff. It was funny. And they came out for uh, all, all night as these, I don't know, these characters, these, I don't know, they were like <laughs> Sesame Street characters. Like they were, they had the big mouths that go up and down. What are they called? What are they called? Um, Muppets. Some sort of Muppet. I don't know. They have a name. It's a weird name. They kind of look, they look like, um, the guy Grimace from uh, from McDonald's. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Kind of like a pear shape. Anyway, yeah. They um, they did that song and it was goofy. And Paul got up and started dancing. Oh and he God. said, "You know what?" And he was talking to uh, Tommy, and he said, "You know what? I really like this song. I really think this was a great song." And he was really getting into it. He's like, "I didn't know it was that. I didn't realize how good it was." I hadn't heard that song in a long time. I go, that's a cool song. I forgot about it. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to work that in somewhere. Uh, Bruce played it the other night. Yeah. Sorry? Bruce's band played it the other night. Yeah. Oh, did it? Oh. Yeah. What'd you think of Bruce's band? Yeah. Uh, thank you. I'll tell you, I was I was listening to them play those songs and it made me proud. It made me proud of some of those songs. It was, it was awesome. It was terrific. And I have to tell you guys all, it was a pleasure to learn them, but it's hard to play material from 33 years ago, okay? 32 years ago. She didn't tell us about it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> sense of humor and that nobody should ever take themselves too seriously because that's part of what having a good time is about and you have it so I'm, I'm with you thank you thank you and you're good looking I thought everyone did a fantastic job all three the, the groups that made the finals you guys are all great 
I'm going to have to go with Small Stanley also. He made the guitar. Good job, good job. Nice ass. Creatures Fest. Brian said his favorite song, uh, their whole catalog was Who Wants to Be Lonely. That really surprised me. Oh, Brian wow. That, yeah, that's surprising. Yeah, right? So good, good for him. I say if you like it, that's great. Um, that's right. That's yeah, right. Um, that's Gene right. was still doing his uh, movie roles um, at that time. Did you, yeah, he, let me ask you, do you like any of Gene's movies? Uh, I haven't seen all of them. I saw Runaway, which I thought was pretty good. That that was the one with Tom Selleck. Is that the and, one where he's a terrorist? What's that? Is that the one where he's a terrorist? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a good one, yeah. Had all the little robot spiders or whatever the fuck they were. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, but if but that yeah, was okay. What's that? That was okay. That was a pretty good movie. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good also. I guess there's just a lot of um a lot of actors, you know. Or who knows? I, I think Gene would have been a good actor. You know? Yeah. I do too, you know, but I thought um I saw Trick or Treat that he mm -hmm. was in. He just had a small part in that, but I thought that was good too. Yeah, and that was uh we talked about that last time. And that was in the movie theater, and Ragman was the kid's name. I still don't yeah. remember. I, th I thought of that afterwards, but I don't still don't know Gene's name. But anyway, that was a good one. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on, shall we? To uh, Please. <laughs> Crazy Nights. Uh, we kick it off with Crazy Crazy Nights. Mm. Um, two. Uh, I'll fight like hell to hold you. Three. Bang bang you. Four, no, no, no. Five, hell or high water. Six, my way. Seven, when your walls come down. Eight, good girl gone bad. Nine, turn on the night. And ten, the thief in the night. Um, it, well, I picked uh, my top. I think I did manage to get four out of that one. Um, I picked. Um, Reason to live. Um, turn on tonight. Wait, did I say reason to live? Did I forget that I, one? <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> and um, uh, go ahead. No, I, I only managed three. Reason to live. See. Um, All right. So I must have screwed up. That was on there. Um, shit. I actually kind of like that song. I knew a lot of people like that, so I didn't like it at first, but it's not so bad. I had to listen to Crazy, when we were on the ship, the, they played Crazy Nights on um, repeat um, throughout the cabin hallways. Oh, I mean, Lord. it just never stopped. It was on 10, and I heard all these songs way more times than I should have. Um, I'll pick for mine... Um, Reason to live. Um, I, I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't want to pick crazy nights. Um, uh, hell or high water, and I'll fight like hell to hold you. I guess. I picked uh, as my number one song. I picked Thief in the Night. Okay. Which that Why? was awesome because it was. I like the song, but. It was also on Wendy O. Williams' debut album, okay. Baby Soul album, and the version on Wendy's album was so much better and heavier than it is here, and it's really a great song. Right, yeah. Um, on this album, it's 
it's okay. It's better than the rest for me, but. Yeah, I have to give it another listen. Like I said, I listen to it too much on the cruise. That I mean, yeah, I, I just listening, re-listening to this album today, I, I couldn't, I mean, this uh, bang, bang, you, you know, it's, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I can't, and my way, it, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. What, what the hell? And they were trying to be, I don't know, they were trying to sound like, um, you know, have that Bon Jovi, uh, Def Leppard kind of sound. They were working with the, what's his name? Um, you mentioned it before. Ron Nevison, I think. The producer. Ron, Nev- Nev- Ron Nevins. Okay. I think that's it. Nevinson. Yeah. Um, they were waiting on him. That's why it took a little longer to come out. It came out, Crazy Nance came out on September 18th, 1987. So they had a little okay. time. That's why they made that stupid video. Well, it wasn't stupid. Um, what was it? Uh, yeah, when they're in the house. Kiss exposed. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. A, I can a remember the whole script, but I can't remember that part with that goofy guy walking him around. <clears throat> yeah, Mark yeah. Blankfield. Yep. And I really Which, thought um, that was their house, but um, <clears throat> yeah, but that was. Uh, I, I really don't remember much about that video. I've got what? it. I bought it back in the day. The whole exposed Paul had, video. Paul had an exercise class. They talked about old yeah. times. They and Paul fell in the pool. The guy was goofing around with the girls. They were all naked and the uh, you know by the swimming pool. And I think the only part that Bruce Kulick and Eric Carr were in, they were running yeah. down the stairs. We're going to the beach or something yep. like that. Yeah, they had nothing and, to do with it. And, I liked it when they went up in the that. attic. When they went up in the yeah. attic, that was the best part when they went through all the old stuff and dusted it off. Yeah. And, I thought that was the best. I wanted to watch that over and over because they had the Winterland shows and stuff, and I had never seen that. Nope. It's a, it's a treat. Um, That's the, the first of, time I ever saw that stuff. Yeah, that was good. I still have it. I couldn't find it in my collection. It's somewhere. Yeah, yeah I've got it somewhere. Yeah, so the next one after that was Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits. Um that's that's that was in the bargain bin. I got that one later on. Um, that was released on. Um, that was released in 1988, and it was double platinum. In fact, all these albums we're talking about, Asylum, and Crazy Nights, were all platinum. Yeah. Except for Animalize was gold. Well, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I don't know how it got double platinum, but maybe because of Reason to Live, that was a pretty popular one. Probably, yeah. Anyway, so Smash and Smash and Hits, we got Let's Put the X in Sex, You Make Me Rock Hard, Love Gun, Detroit Rock City, I Love It Loud, Deuce, Lick It Up, Heaven's on Fire, Calling Dr. Love, Beth, Strutter, Tears Are Falling, I was made for loving you, rock and roll all night, shout it out loud. My choices were four, I made four, four, Love Gun, three, Deuce, two, Detroit Rock City, and number one, Calling Dr. Love. Can't go wrong with that one. Yeah. Um, Like the other three, too much to pick as my one, so. Yeah, I only only managed three out of this one because I really... While I do like the songs, um, except for um, you put the X in sex and you make me rock hard, you know, I yeah. know. But the rest of them, I do like the songs, but I hate the way they made this album sound. They watered it down so much. Yeah. I love it loud. The drums, which are supposed to be heavy and, you know, banging. Yeah. They yeah. The drums sound so much on the song is horrible. So the three I did pick on this album were Deuce, Lick It Up, and I Was Made for Loving You. Okay. And I have also have to note um this album had Beth on it. Yeah. Which Eric Carr did the vocal. 
and I really wasn't a fan of it. No, you know? me neither. It's not raspy enough. It's Peter. That's Peter's song. Eric's I, a great singer, but not here. No, and I don't think Eric won. Eric didn't want to do it. He had a no, problem. Think, doing it. And yeah. Paul made fun of him. I remember an interview I watched. He said, "Oh, you had to call Peter," and and you know, <laughs> and they laughed. That's his permission. The wrath of yeah. Peter, something like that. Uh, well, I don't know. Did you do that just to get it, Peter, or what? I don't know. He, I don't know. Sometimes Paul, I don't know. He likes to be in charge. I know, I know, but it's a maybe it's just because it's the greatest hits album and maybe they felt they just had to include Beth. Well, but yeah, maybe. I don't know why it, it they sounded felt good. Eric's got a great voice, but yeah. it just didn't sound right. No. Yeah. Not here. All right. Well, any, any more to say about uh, this one? What makes it a smash and a thrash? That's the question. They're all thrashes to me. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's the end of that. And now we got the last one. Yippee. Hot in the shade. That's like Crazy Nights Part Two. Right. Yeah. Yes. That was a platinum selling record and was released October 17th, 1989. Uh, track one, Rise to It, Betrayed, Hide Your Heart, Prisoner of Love, Read My Body. Um, uh. Lovely, Love is a Slap in the Face, Forever, um, Silver Spoon, Cadillac Dreams, King of Hearts. I pick, I did get four out of this one. I picked um, Little Caesar. Which also had oh, Eric Carr. Yeah. I thought that was good. Good, good one by Eric. Um, Boomerang, I thought was pretty good. Um, Hide Your Heart, which I thought was pretty good. Um, I like Ace Frehley's uh, version of that better. Mm -hmm. It's still a good song. Yeah. And my number one song on this album, maybe surprising, is Cadillac Dreams. Why? Why is that? I'm I'm just curious. I I like the the groove of it. I think it's cool. Okay, I, I kind of I'm, I'm feeling you on that. Gene thinking about himself. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it too, to be honest. And maybe I'll include that. Yeah, I think it's a good song. Yeah. Okay. Cadillac dreams. Um. Um. I don't want to pick any of them. Uh, I guess Hide Your Heart. Forever. That's my three. That's the end. I don't like Rise to It. That brings back bad memories of yeah. when I tried to sneak out to go to this show yeah. with my friends and I got caught. Um, and I, when my friends made fun of me because my mom could hear a pin drop and she was going to rise to it to get me and we used to joke around it's stupid but it always reminds me of sneaking out and just getting past the door and nina you know she was there to, you know what are you doing and uh <laughs> getting some fresh air mom so i never made it to hot in the shade yeah it was you know during this whole time of these albums that we've gone over so far it's when i started getting out of care yeah getting, me too I didn't, I couldn't, you know, identify yeah. with them anymore. It was at that point, you know, of where Vinny had left the band and yeah. they put out, um, I think it was Asylum around the same time Vinny's first invasion came out. Yep. And they were bad mouthing Vinny in the press and putting out these god awful albums. And Vinny knocked it out of the park with his album. And they were bad mouthing Ace. They were bad mouthing Peter. And that's when I started getting out. And I think it was the Hot in the Shade tour was the first tour um, of the 80s that I did not go. My choice. They came near me and I, yeah, I said, no, I'm not going. Supposedly that was a good show, I, I heard. I heard it was. 
You know, uh, they were bringing back some old songs. Yeah, I, w I wasn't having it though. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I got, I, there was so much other stuff I was listening to then that Kiss yeah. wasn't really Kiss anymore. They weren't the same band. Yeah. I grew right. up as a, I mean, this is a hot in the shade. I was 16 years old. Yeah. 15, 16. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I wanted to go. I think it was a bunch of other bands opening up for them. That was one of the reasons I wanted to go. Yeah, I think they had um, another reason I didn't go was um, when they came to my town, they had Slaughter opening up for them, and I wasn't having that either. Okay. Okay, and um, yeah, I can't, I don't think it was Slaughter, I think F Faster Pussycat was with us, with our group, and I always liked them. Yeah, I did too. One of them, I think they're freaking great. Yeah, that may have made a difference for me if, if Faster Pussycat had been there, you know, in my show, but it yeah. was flawed. Um, so I'm curious, um, what, can you tell me, we talked about this on the other one, what happened to Mark St. John? What, why, that was, that, a, that was a total lie about his hand, right? Yeah. It was yeah. not, it was completely made up. Yeah. Not yeah. And, Bruce. and I don't, I don't think you could tell that to KISS fans like the diehard KISS fans yeah. that yeah. made up the story, but it was, it, okay. it's, it was all crap because they had let go of Mark and it wasn't long after that, he came out with his White Tiger album. Right, so you could he, know he played. Yeah, and he was fine. So it was all a lie. All right, well, why, I wonder why they hired him so quickly, like why? I don't know, I guess no, they thought that he they wanted somebody to sound like Vinny. And did they call Vinny for help? Did Vinny help out with any of these songs? I, know I don't he didn't think credit so. if he did. I don't. He think so. okay. I've never heard of them calling Vinny. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Um, I did. I did hear a little bit of the chatter about that in our in Legion. So I don't. I just. I don't yeah. know what. If that's I don't helped. think that's true. And Vinny never even said that either. No, he didn't. So I'm just. I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, okay, so there it is. We got that through all those. I was going to skip over it completely, but it didn't feel right. So um, we're going to make something kind of half ass tomato mozzarella. Enjoy. We'll see you next time on Heavy Metal Kitchen. Bye, Roger. Bye.